USA. It, 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 you should not have any doubt, USA is in a direct conflict with China. China is in a direct conflict. USA's enemy is China, China's enemy is USA. Now, in this scenario, USA wants to, when USA at a strategy as a back passing, back passing at a game at our back passing. So USA, what it wants to do, it doesn't want to put boots on the ground. Boots on the ground, anyone who is a, it want to bring soldiers and let them fight. No, it wants to fight proxy wars now. So it, it is trying to form an alliance of all those countries who are annoyed by China or China it wants to create an alliance. So we have Quad. So Quad India, Japan, Australia, and USA. So in our case, USA sees India as the ideal swing state. Swing state of the top Paper, paper. Is it in US, India is a swing state. India doesn't see itself as a swing state. India sees itself as an independent foreign, or oh, sorry, a sovereign state with its own strategic interest, with its with strategic autonomy of its own at its core. Strategic autonomy is the pillar of our foreign policy. Na? The army, we want to, uh, we want, we do not want to be dependent on anybody. So, but USA sees India as a swing state. Swing state, is India is a the, the, the chances of that party winning it becomes more. So now, India PTB is to geopolitics or gravity to that is shifting. Man, a was to the cabole, but what you, uh, USA is doing is, I'll show you. So this is a con Pacific Ocean. This is specific. This is Pacific Ocean. This is Indian Ocean. So, I got a global politics or main hell to ekin it. The China kept a Asia Pacific was the zone where the conflict was happening or direct challenge between China and USA was happening, or potentially it can happen. India, India, Hungary, the idea of Indo Pacific has come to fore. Etia to make that India is part of it, a e, e Africa Eastern Coastal like a e idea to man, e conflict, man, the same, man, main hot zone, you can say, hot zone of global politics is now the Indo Pacific region. And India is uh, at the center. It was a very good thing, but it is in a way um, pushing India at the, uh, to the center of the conflict. But India, India is also very smart enough. Our foreign policy experts, they say that no, we are not at the center. Southeast Asian countries are at the center. ASEAN is at the center. I know that I put again. But then, Amar Karone, Mane, it too important hoy, the China rise to peaceful hope. It is to be managed rise. And uh, we, we do not want a Mane. Uh, is because we share a border with China, such a big border with China, we want the relation to be stable and uh, conflicts to be resolved. We are not here to fight the war of US. It is uh, important. But uh, what China is doing is um, creating problems for our choices. Actually, Amar A Ketro to the Ami China Logot relation to the I mean historical overview at alone. Till nineteen sixty two, Unoisko Bahosti Sonoleke, Amar policy took bandwagoning bliker. Bandwagoning maneki ami mane just because China is also part of the so-called uh, mana developing world and Amar He Homo at a mana you can say anti West sentiment at all. We supported China. We supported China at multiple forums. All of our idealistic foreign policy, as we did not predict the potential challenge that China might have for in, um, territorial challenge. China is a debo pare. In fact, 1962 war um, actually uh, it, it shocked the entire nation. In Nehru was devastated by it. He did not expect something like that. So the 62 war hole that gave a reality check to India. 
गलवान होल सो नाउ पोस्ट 2019 दिस इज नो लॉन्गर वर्क वर्किंग सो नाउ देयर इज न्यू रूल ऑफ एंगेजमेंट द इटे तो आमी वी आर एग्रेसिवली डिसएंगेजिंग विथ चाइना टू द बेस्ट वे पॉसिबल बट अनफॉर्चूनेटली आवर इकोनॉमिक डिपेंडेंस ऑन चाइना इज सो मच दैट वी आर नॉट एबल टू डिसएंगेज कंप्लीटली वी आर नॉट एबल टू डीकपल हां सो आमी एतिया माने कथा तो एने क्वा जे amar ki lage amak ami amak lage we want peace at the borders ha ami to war monger kori thaka na ami ami bisaru je amar border peaceful hok ami bisaru we don't want to be swing state no swing state ha we don't want to be swing state so we want amar je to strategic autonomy ami je to koiso we want to maintain our strategic autonomy so this is our basic uh, mane you can say maneuvering area mane ek tar kaache pakhe ami amar policy tu banabole so etia ami ki koru what we do what we have gone for so ami to obviously strong action lui sui china against the hai na eta to amar rokhi thaka nai we are we are we, we have taken military action against china when they friends uh, graced our borders in the north so uh, আমি এতিয়া কি কইছো উই আর হেজিং হেজিং শব্দটো কি জানে না উই আর হেজিং আর বেটস বুলি যে কয় যে আমি মাল্টিপল ফ্রন্টত বস্তুটো টেকল কইবলে চাইছো আমি এটা টু আমি এটা টু কইছো কি উই আর ডুইং হোয়াট ইজ কল ডেটারেন্স আমার টু উই আর এ নিউক্লিয়ার পাওয়ার উই আর এ মিলিটারি পাওয়ার স্ট্রং মিলিটারি পাওয়ার হুম সো দ্যাট উইল অ্যাক অর দ্যাট উই আর উই উই ওয়ান্ট টু প্রজেক্ট দ্যাট দ্যাট অ্যাক্সেস এ ডেটারেন্ট ফর চাইনা টু Uh, from any group of different tar bisot ami dhorok kichu man summit diplomatic initiatives loisu ha uh, summit level formal informal eta to brics or thok ba g20 eta jodi hetor jinping nahile kono bato aise etane ke agote he mahabali purom g jinping maro modi madot to eneke there was hari uh, hoisile there was a summit in tamil nadu so in our summit we have called a formal informal summit hoise tar logote our economic dependence so economic dependence is or economic interdependence not only india and china china is also dependent on certain aspects with india like raw materials huh. so although that is not a sustainable uh, trade uh, negotiation for india but still we are creating a framework where we are hedging our bets ki okay afale ami militarily strong hoisu afale diplomatic channel diu ami we are trying to tackle china jo ta ami oppose korbe lage korisu jo to hoyto engage korbe lage korisu economically ami eta framework rakhisu jot neki mane china logot amar eta mane hei thake ekebare no hoy hoy koi dibo no ha na public consumption er karone ami jodiu kisman kotha ko but still to see we have big economic trade going on with china except jota man ban koi dile iman dangor impact no hoy ha jodi apni trade figures bila sai minister of commerce or said good place jodi apni ka sector kom pabo so etia ki hoyse etia usa aru china ar majot there is an acute trade uh, tension ba political tension hoy ase so they are not trading much so it is opening up opportunity for other countries like india vietnam so agot mon belak agot main so lagot belak lagot koi su the china plus one strategy basically western countries they are thinking on lines of not only investing in china but also another country as an alternative so that 
if something wrong happens with China, then they can their investment will be protected. So in we are one of the options. So conflict is not a solution or a direct war is not a solution for anything. But if it comes, then we have to fight. So it's going to deterrence to us. But other method sources. So um, America USA will try to work in such a way that I mean see to what is India doing? India is doing a balancing act. Hmm. Do you think that India is in USA's camp? Then you will have to say no. Yeah, because we are still part of BRICS. We are still part of AIIB, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, NDB, New Development Bank, BRICS. So, I am going to the channel. So, I am to totally decouple with China. So, what does it show? We are still trying to do a balancing act. But, you it yeah the di china would be aggressive with the aru gondogun kore then to obviously our bond with usa will proportionately grow stronger it yeah to man situation when you say usa is making it india man making or you can say it is forcing india to make the hard choice not only with case of china but also with case of iran iran or kind economic man energy security can iran important so India is being compelled in a way and very subtly to make hard choices. Okay, you come this way or that way. And uh it took a civil nuclear deal or they did a deal with us. That was a nuclear trade or kind of like NSC NSC member but Australia group was in an agreement. So direct incentive is come to the US camp. So India going closer and closer to USA is a reality because China is asserting itself in the border. China is creating trouble. So, through the prime ministerial tenure of um, like some rights since Bajpayee was prime minister, so much to USA typically goes Bajpayee. Bajpayee said that USA is our natural ally. One more thing, USA is our natural partner. Modi is Modi is we have to overcome our hesitation. When Cold War or Cold War our tilt was more towards USSR. So, our head was past or hesitation. Bilag, I mean, after all, the anti US, anti. Uh, USA is to our policy head of asset, not only among common people, but also among policy makers. A hesitation will have a trouble again. I mean, it is we are like creating the ground for more uh, intimate collaboration with USA. Jason Kadesh to question Delhi dogma, but there is a dogmatic view, a dogmatic anti US view in there. So, India as of India US or relation or attached to foundational basis to key. So, what do you think is the most strongest um, particle or strongest dimension of India US relationship? It is. Defense cooperation. I was like, Comcasa, Becca, Sismo, agreement, It shows that the defense cooperation between USA and India is the pillar of India's USA relation. So, Etia, Etia, Sap. I mean, Etia, like, there is this triangle which is important for us. India is here, USA is here, China is here. So, a equation to Buzibot is important, right? India needs US. You all again, India, because India wants USA to balance China. Because not China is going to go India. Can't allow it in a way. So India needs USA to balance China. USA needs India as the swing state. China sees USA as the main enemy. China sees India as the lieutenant of USA. USA lieutenant is the China. is how China sees India. Yes,
বিভিন্ন পোর্টস আছে যে হাম্বানা শ্রীলঙ্কা আছে গোয়াদার আছে সিটুয়ে আছে ইফালে ম্যানমার বাংলাদেশতো আছে এনেকে সো ইট ইজ ট্রাইং টু ক্রিয়েট এ পার্ল অফ এরিয়াস ওয়ার চাইনিজ কন্ট্রোল উইল বি মোর এন্ড সো উইচ ইট ক্যান ইট ক্যান কন্টেইন ইন্ডিয়া ইট ক্যান মেক ইন্ডিয়া মানে রিডিউস দা এক্সপ্যানশন অফ ইন্ডিয়া বাট দ্যাট ইজ দ্যাট ইজ হাউ চায়না ওয়ান্টস টু এনগেজ উইথ ইন্ডিয়া বাট এট দা সেম টাইম ইট ইজ মানে ইন ফোরামস লাইক ব্রিক্স ডব্লিউটিও ইট ইজ এনগেজিং উইথ ইন্ডিয়া কারণ টোটালি মানে চায়না ডাজন সি ইন্ডিয়া টোটালি এজ এন এনিমি কান্ট্রি হোয়ার ইট হ্যাজ টু বি অপোজিং ইট এট by hook or by crook and upon hoy but in a way china is playing with him interest but we are we also have a specific imperative okay but eta kotha monot rakhibo no doubt mane jodi you have you are given a choice kaila interview ta gote what if you are the foreign minister of india and you have to make a choice then which camp will you be in then it is uh, ideal at this moment that you if you have to make a choice then you have to go to usa why because China has never cooperated on the core issues of India's national importance. India, national importance is a core issue, like say, UN Security Council or India entry. Huh? Terrorism is a position. Huh? Pakistan is a position. Tapa nuclear supplies group of Otaku Sulu said that India nuclear trade could go for a black or fissile material, uranium, uranium import could go for a black or carne. China. ক্ষেত্রেস্টেম জাপান আছে ফিলিপিনস আছে সাউথ কোরিয়া আছে ভিয়েটনাম আছে সো এফালে কি হয় যে চাইনাজ এক্সপানশন ইন দ্য ইস্ট ইজ কন্টেইন বাই দিস Spheres, you can say spheres of US influence, if you have a US influence, as well. so it is the safest way to expand this waste, waste, waste of collection. So Central Asia becomes important for China. So if you know, China has the, what is called as Malakkan dilemma, I hope you know, the technology to narrow strip straight as a, Uh, between Sumatra and uh, Malaysia, Sumatra in Indonesia and Malaysia, a narrow corridor to take it, obviously Indian Navy is preeminent Navy. So China, I mean, China maximum, if you look at trade, it will be important trade route China as well. So it will be the case of the country, if Indian, Indian Navy chokes it, then China's trade will be choked. So China is, China has to expand or it, it has to think west. মানে তার পশ্চিম ফালেহে মানে ইট ইট ক্যান ইট ক্যান অ্যাকচুয়ালি মুভ উইথ এ ব্রিট অফ ব্রিডিং রুম বাট ইন দ্য ইস্ট ইট ক্যান ইট ইজ চেক তো এটা এনেকা হয়েছে যে সেন্ট্রাল এশিয়া দুনে কন্ট্রোল করিব হি উইল মানে এটো আগৰ পৰাই মানে দিস ইজ এ থিওরি দ্যাট ইজ দ্যাট হ্যাজ বিন প্রমিনেন্ট সিন্স ইউ ক্যান সে 18th সেঞ্চুরি দ্যাট হুয়েভার কন্ট্রোল সেন্ট্রাল এশিয়া উইল কন্ট্রোল দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড এন্ড দ্যাট ইজ হোয়াই দ্য ফাইট ইজ গোইং অন ইন দ্য ওয়েস্টার্ন So they are trying to um, go for Doklam, uh, sorry, Galwan and all. Huh? So if I let's have China, it's here. Um, so China, this is Tibet. And this is Xinjiang. So China, it is a Galwan. Why it is trying to consolidate itself in this region? Because Tibet or Prasudi, if I let's have all again, only through Ladakh it is possible. So, ইন্ডিয়া জাপান 
it is um, disrespecting or it is against our territorial integrity am i territory bongo on mother ego so how can we support feedback for china's pri china in a competitive manner what is china's vision of a world order how what type of world china wants Chinese world order will be a China centric. Obviously, China will be the Middle Kingdom. Of course, USA centric, USA centric, but it will be a hierarchical and authoritarian. When I open the direction, the boss, it will follow non democratic. So it has zero democracy is the predominant value uh, accepted world over as a political system which is best among the rest. So that way, if Manazilu again socialism with Chinese characteristic, there will be industries not like Manarasian socialism on the Cuban socialism on There will be industries, there will be private uh, investment, but uh, it's a kind of state capitalism, believe for China as it So, a was to do the China little world view. I mean, the BRI category, the Hapa, the Hambandota category, Sri Lanka, the Hambandota, China, the Hobos or Lizard, the developer. For the it is like the Chinese land only right now. So, that is that is a just a you can say a vision of how the world will be if Chinese uh, dominance actually comes to fruition. Okay, so um, it's ready to alternative financial system of how we are sorry, we are investment here is okay, tools is okay, but uh, main issues will like the lack of transparency, uh, clear rules, not uh, like exploitative uh, lending practices. If you like, we to paper about really clear. Okay, so um, China has to overcome its. Um, you can say its limitations on the in the seas actually china is focusing very much on developing its naval supremacy so it it, it do not want to compromise on that it is trying to rebuild it but uh, right now us's naval superiority is more than china so china is focusing on waste in a way russia ukraine expedition china knows it China is the elephant in the room. Nobody wants to talk about it. China is behind everything. It has to do it to more than what is happening in Israel. Uh, everybody is focusing on Hamas or treating it as an uh, as a Jews and Islam fight. No, it is not like that. It's a geopolitical fight. Although, yeah, in a postmodern world, there will be multiple reasons. But main. Uh, the as all the two the main uh, you can say the background actor is China. China has multiple advantages if there is the stability in Middle East. Middle East, if it becomes stable, then US can concentrate on other things. No? So it wants to create problems. India, India, India is trying to obviously change the rules of engagement with china got to call economic dependence or what i mean to do basically the little so what economically will not try to engage uh, we will check where we are possible we will try to build at maneuver uh, capabilities and uh, uh, india advantage as like someone china vis-a-vis -vis china what are the india's advantage vis-a-vis -vis china number two is the location of india in indian ocean India is at a location of the high triangular peninsula jutting into the Indian Ocean. It gives India a very good control over the seas and uh, demographic advantage. The fact that rise of China is not peaceful, a discourse to develop India has played a very prominent role. 
the world view of China is something that is not a healthy world view for the world to accept. It is apni it will kena ke gumbaw pare. Look at the allies of USA or for that matter India. India's allies are more stronger as Japan, Australia, and all. But China's allies are dependent on China. China ally kun hoy thi? Practically Russia, Iran, Syria, Hamas in a way, then uh, Pakistan. Huh? So China is actually suffering both because of its allies. And a Chinese worldview, money you cannot, although we are right, both European countries, I said, neither economic interest, particularly Zudo, call it a kind of fight now, you know, ideological war goal, time goal, the Kuma communist democratic to like a capitalism of a good look at it. Yeah, my man, a complex conflict, sir. Kunu by ideology, Kunu by man, I mean, man, a class of civilization, it took man, cultural war, because of your beliefs. That was a piece of economic interest at all, commercial interest at all. So, when you don't need interest, like a complex interest, like I fight that the multiple interests are stick. So, I was China, there is something called pressure cooker syndrome. You might have heard the China, um, there is a press Chinese pressure cooker. Believe what the internally there are problems. Mazote, hey, Jack Ma Bulatun, who cares with Silano, Ali Babar. Hey, you know what I mean? Taro Manu, basic human nature is what freedom, people want freedom. So, it is a press of the demand you look at a press for your people through economic freedom people by economic well being people among her nature to any one we want more freedom so here to it will not be a healthy place or healthy way of uh, maintaining a society so it yeah i'm gonna if we are if you are asked what is the sensible option for india the india sensible option to hope was that you should not get intimidated by china china is playing multiple Way, psychological work in India, and defense forces will go directly engage. So, we have to trust our defense forces, we have to not get intimidated. And remember one thing the best way to avoid war is to prepare for war. So, you should prepare for war, you should be prepared if it's for money. God forbid, if such a situation comes, then you are full prepared to fight. But uh, it should not be like 62, where you are living in a false hope that uh, a similarly placed country will not attack you, that will not happen. So that's why what we are doing, we are trying to internally balance. We are trying to internally balance. Can I get? Yes, Ashwin. Yeah, we are trying to internally balance. Then by strengthening ourselves, I mean, it's okay. Strong defense is a strength, strong, strong policy, economically strong policy, and defense. Economy. Aru? Soft power. Monterey was soft power to both important. The India's worldview. World is more comfortable with India's worldview. The democratic, uh, rule based, and at a competitive city view. I mean, Bishakuru. That is totally against Chinese worldview. So that that strengthens India. Our targets are local external balancing. I mean, like USA, local Z2 defense partnership. The fact that we are being part of quad so no so if you like what non alignment but strategic autonomy strategy to assess that we are also trying to engage with china we do not want to money um, it's not ideal for us to keep fighting i could use that of the couple ways being in a state of constant warfare is not a healthy place to be so my problem to solve for us about so you can that is how uh, what are the options available for us in this regard? So, it, yeah, I mean, the I mean, the okay, what can we conclude from this discussion? The conclusion is that USA is getting challenged, China is rising. So, China has instigated the war in Ukraine through Russia. There, China, Tate, Russia is pressurized by the West. Basically, Russia are the natural mother to do as Ukrainians are the proxies in a way. Ukrainians are suffering, no doubt. So, but but to reduce pressure on that, China ki koi le, Iranok zet dile, Iranok zet, mane instigate koi le, Iran instigate koi le, Hamas ho karo Hamas se aata kya mukha zodi aise karte Hamas ki, mane they 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 are not the Palestinians, mane bhiyoti gude Palestinians represent na kore, they 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 were so such a fool, the Israel so powerful than them, they instigated them and they chhoto chhoto ki aro, dogmatic people, they might run away, but common people will suffer. So they, Hamas, 
is now a plaything in the hand of Iran and in a way in the hand of China. So yeah, you can say this is the second front going on. So China is the big elephant in the room that is uh, making the whole geopolitics uh, that is actually playing it up. Okay, so a perspective. I mean, I event to I a larger global context. So I mean, place kori salo. You know, a standalone a event to ru at a historical background as the Arab Israel conflict. Ito ata, I mean, kato nizor problem asa iman the hiyoti pogola hoy judo kaziya lagiya dekio. So it is not a new thing. It has been going on. So here aspect to to I mean, common deal kori the why they are so vulnerable to it. What are what are the background? In our next class, and then we will try to understand what are the implications for India. And I hope and I believe that uh, after doing it in this manner, thank you.